Today we're going to be showing you how to install ESXi host on the server. Uh, it's going to be basically um, instead of a virtual, instead of a physical hardware, you know, it's going to be like a virtual server. So we have a server here. It's like a Blaze server. So it's four servers in one, and we're going to install on one of the Blaze right now. We're going to be installing the ESXi host. In our case, we have a USB splitter because it only has two USB ports that goes to this SD card has um, ESXi host, and this. As the as uh, USB stick on the very top, we're, this is where we're going to be installing our um, actual ESXi host. So right now, the first thing that we want to do is whenever we put a computer up, um, we want to go into BIOS. In our case, going into BIOS was F2. When we get into BIOS, we want to enable virtualization. In our case, enabling virtualization is under CPU configuration. So over here we have virtualization tech, VT is disabled. We're going to enable it right now. We're going to go back. Uh, also, we want to set boot settings. We want to make sure uh, we boot from, from a USB stick. So let's go and we're going to actually set it to removal device and then USB centers. Next, we want to make sure our time is correct in the bias. So from, uh, from main uh, system time, we want to make sure the system time is correct. If it's not, we want to go into settings uh, and set it up. Once, you also want to make sure that if you have all the latest bias, if you don't have the latest bias, you want to check if uh, there is a bias update available check what's available for in that update. If it's something with virtualization and it's useful, get it. We're gonna save changes and exit right now. Let's pause it. So. Okay, so we rebooted our server with the, uh, and you can see no, an option that we have right now is default, Dell ESXi host, or boot from local disk. Uh, you wanna, before you get ESXi host, you wanna go on the website and check that there is the ESXi host available for your server or computer. In our case, it was available, and we're installing, going to the Dell uh, ESXi host installer. You select it, hit enter, and we're gonna wait for it to come up now. And as you can see, it's loading, it's gonna take some time. Uh, on the bottom, you can see it's running. It's loading all of this. And we're just gonna wait right now and while we're waiting, I um, wanted to go over, over a couple of reasons why you want to, you know, go to, uh, go to virtualization route versus hardware route. One of the main things is you're requiring less physical space. Less physical space, you need less power consumption, lower hardware costs, versatility, you can move it around. Remote management is a lot better on virtual machine versus, you know, a physical machine. Uh, remote wipe, remote snapshot, backup. Uh, you can move a VMware around. Once you set up one virtual machine, you can take that virtual machine and move it from one, you know, SXI host to a different ASXI host seamlessly if you have like something like VMotion. So, you pretty much are sold on, you know, virtualization. It's, there's not a reason right now they should be going with the physical Unless it's something very specific like uh, PBX, a phone system, that you absolutely need to have like the physical access and it's going to be hard to virtualize. Other than that, you want to go virtualization. So right now, we're just waiting for it to load. Uh, ESXi host under 32 gig memory and two CPUs is free. There's no reason for you not to get it. Uh, so. In our case, we have 24 gigs. Uh, each blade has two Intel Xeon uh, 2.13 gigahertz CPUs. That's going to be enough for you to power through anything you need. In our case, a domain controller, file server, uh, uh, exchange server, anything you need, SQL. Well, maybe not SQL, but anything else that you would need, a backup server, uh, you know, DNS, DHCP server. Everything can be running on one single blade, you know, at a time. 
And if you virtualize it, you know, if one of the blade fails, you can swap it out to a different blade. And right now, we're just waiting for it to finish. And again, depending on which hardware you have, it might take a little bit more or less time to, to set up. Okay, so right now the installation finished and we're getting the welcome to VMware ESXi 5.1 installation. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, right here we just have to hit enter to, you know, to go forward. Go forward, accept the user agreements, scroll up and down, enter. Or in our case, I'm not sure. Uh, it's uh, F11 to accept. So we are accepting, it's going to scan for the available devices uh, where it, it will be able to install. If you have hard drives that are in RAID, that might be your next option. In our case, this is the USB stick that we're going to be installing it to. The SanDisk 8GB 745 available. This is where our ESXi host loaded right now. So we're going to choose our SanDisk, the 8GB, and hit enter. And it's going to gather information. And again, depending on what you have, if you're installing it on actual hard drives or, uh, you know, if you, some of the servers have SD card built in, you know, SD card inside the server built in, and you might have to install it there. So again, do the research before you buy the server. It contains at least one other partition. Okay, that's fine. Uh, select your language uh, for keyboard layout. For us, it's going to be US default. Enter, continue, root password. It's very, very important that you set a strong password. Um, you know, basically, uh, one second. Uh, let's go over the passwords. If you don't select a strong password, that's, your, I mean, that's just not a right, not the best practice. The best practice is, for example, set a strong password, something would be like, Light, uh, table, 44, admin. And the more words you have, the higher entropy you have, the stronger the password is going to be, the more secure your system is going to be. Don't set up passwords such as like root and username, root, password. Don't set it like root, one, two, three. Set a strong password. That's not only for your SXI post, but that's for your domain controller, for anything that you have to administer, router, or switches. Set a strong password. That's access to anything that has, you know, file access. It protects you, it's going to protect your client, and it's going to, you know, you're going to have less headache at the end of the day. So right now, it's going to install. It's, depending on the system that you have, in our case, it's probably going to take five to ten minutes of just installing. So we're going to pause the video, and we're just, you can see it right now, it's just scanning system, gathering additional information. Warning the disk will be repartitioned. F11 to install. Yes, and it's going to be installing. And at this point, we're just waiting. Once it's going to be done, just so I can confirm, it's going to confirm the installation. It's going to shut down and reboot automatically. When it shuts down, the first time you want to take out your installation media so it boots up from ESX post. And we're going to come back once it's going to be installed. Three. All right, there we go. So our ESXi host installed, and you can see installation complete. Um, and uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna reboot. So as soon as we press enter, it's gonna go into reboot. And while it's rebooting, we want to take out our installation media and let it boot from the you know from in the ESXi host. And we're gonna confirm that it booted up by putting in our password once it boots up. So right now we're gonna hit enter. Uh, it will, you don't have to touch anything, it's going to just uh, shut down and reboot in, in a short time. So, and right now we're, we're just waiting for the server to reboot. So as soon as it reboots, I'm going to take out the SD card and make sure it boots up from the USB stick. So, it's going to, and you don't have to do anything, don't power 